Hello everybody, my name is Alvaro Vera and I am here again. This time I will show you how to create an isometric uh, actions to simplify the, the construction of isometric objects. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is create a new uh, folder of actions or action folder. Let's call it isometric, just to have a reference. Now just create a new action, let's call it uh, ISO top. Okay, then, uh, okay, I forgot to create uh, the objects uh, we're going to modify. So let's stop the record of action and create a new square give the same size for each side then just give some another details like the outline one pixel just to have a nice reference okay with this square, um, I'm going to duplicate twice. Uh, it's each one is going to represent uh, a side of uh, isometric square. The top side, the right side, and the left side. Okay. Select one and start to record the action again. Recording. Okay. Now, the first thing uh, uh, I'm going to do is uh, transform this square and we're going to scale down the, the height in exactly 86.0. 62% 0, 0.62 okay it's a standard of something mathematics okay so transform again and now we're going to skew the square okay skew the square 30 degrees yeah now let's press enter and yeah minus 30 degrees so now we're going to rotate this square another 30 degrees and that's all we have our first action of symmetric square then move to the second one and create a new action let's call it ISO right okay now we're going to do again scale down just 86.062% again mathematics so again we're going to skew 30 degrees minus 30 degrees okay transform again and just rotate minus 30 degrees simple now we have one side of our box well let's create a new action oh, I'm going to delete this okay create a new action mm. I'm thinking about sorry. 
let's call it ISO left. Okay, I need to stop height. Okay, let's scale down the same 86.062%. Let's skew 30 degrees. And rotate 30 degrees. Down. Yeah, 30 degrees down. So now we have the three sides. Just stop to record. And I'm going to delete the steps, ground steps, okay. Now, uh, somebody asked me why I have a colorful actions. It's simple. In actions, you have an option to create a button for each action, just to don't have this kind of record and play stuff. So just double click in the action and you have uh, like an object color. So now uh, just return to option color and you have different color for each uh, action. Uh, again, uh, just to demonstrate the, uh, the point of the new stuff, I create a new square, uh, duplicate three times, and for the first I use isotope, the second right top, and the last one I use iso left. So, Move the squares to generate our isometric box. Well, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the, the video and see you next time.